So we're out here today looking for a tool, something that would make your life better, something you can work with. And guess what I bumped into is just this software that is finally, finally available for non-commercial use. But then you can go ahead and practice this. And when you have the buck, you can just simply pay about $50 to get this thing for your own use as a pro. Okay. So what is this software? This software is called the Shader Map. And just in case you don't know what Shader Map is, you don't need to worry about that. It's a software that is made available from the guys at Render Systems. And you can go ahead and play with the software and you know use it to do all of your material stuff. And one cool thing is just in case you've been working with Crazy Bump, you've been working with X Normal, B2M, and the NAD, K-N-A-L-D, of course you probably would actually abandon all of those software right now and move to this one because this packs a punch so it takes away all of those things that you have always wanted to get in all of these apps i've mentioned and even more and just puts it in one place and so let me introduce you guys to this software just in case you don't know what it is the name of the software is Ta shader map so let's look at the shader map and do a quick review and know what it looks like if it's something that you would want to work with or if it's something you're going to simply abandon right now and how this works is quite simple okay so this is the ui you can go over to their website go over to the website here and you know simply download a copy that you can make use of and if you want to make a purchase you can also uh, go over to the buy now and make a purchase which is not that expensive for the niche that it saves or the, the niche that this actually serves okay so fifty dollars it's yours you have all of those things unlocked and you can make use of them and do whatever you want okay so let's get back to this app and just look at it and give it some ranting and some critique okay so first of all once you open this you're welcome with this ui which is i, I don't know why they chose this type of font okay so maybe it's particular to them but i'm just wondering if you're looking at this in a big screen how it's going to uh, fit for you and so you have something like this and then from here you can simply select what kind of mode you want to work in this is something that we don't often get in apps that are like this but we have it in this particular app so if you want to work in pbr or you want to work in uh, pbr with specular or you just want to work with just the very standard stuff then you can go ahead and work with it so for the pbr they have um a P pbr that supports specular roughness metalness ambient occlusion and also displacement these are basically the core things that you would want to get when you're working with apps like this and so we also have various forms that we can generate uh, materials from okay so you can choose to generate by color texture you can also choose to generate materials or you can also choose to generate, generate material passes by displacement map and by normal map and also you can bake from high uh, you can bake from high density to low density uh, models okay so let's just simply start with this one that is the color texture so once we open up the color texture or once we click and select the color texture click on this button I would actually say that this is sort of a poor UI design I would wish that they have something like this like once you have this selected then you click a button here you know okay so we click on this button and I'm going to go ahead and select stones and we we'll have to allow this to load up and at the same time it's loading up so if you're familiar with crazy bump and X normal and B2M from algorithmic substance of course you know what this is so we have this particular one which is our color map we have our normal map we have this as our displacement map we have our specular map and this is our ambient occlusion obviously there's nothing there okay now for each of these maps that you select you see that we have values that we can play with and this is something i really love about this one and despite having this despite having all of this stuff you also have some sort of post process that you can you know play with this and and get that over with one of these features that i like about this is the lights you can come through and control the lights the way you want the lights to be reflective on top of your model so let's say we're previewing this model here and you want to see how the light bounces across the entire stuff you can do that for this one we can come through and you know just increase the intensity 
so let's just increase the intensity allow it to load it loads up on this geometry and then you can see that happening right there you know on this channel we kind of like real-time stuff so we're just playing with this and it's not so it's not so real time but then it gets the job done okay so we have something like this then the next thing which i would like to show you guys is we also have or they also have a sort of geometries something i was wishing that existed in the, the video where i talked about the quick sell stuff so they also have geometries that you can change so we can switch geometries so you want to see it on the sphere you want to see it on a plane you want to see it on a cube you want to go ahead and sit back somewhere like this and with your right mouse button once you click and drag around you can you know rotate the camera and see what it looks like okay cool so it's something you've seen and by now you you probably be saying well we've seen something like this before we've, we've seen uh, stuff like this before but you've not seen this stuff where you can simply select the red channel analyze the red channel how you suit you know select the the green channel select the blue channel and analyze them or maybe also come through and select the alpha if there's one existing and analyze it as well so maybe something you've also not seen and is one feature that this app has that i simply love a lot as well but one amazing one that would blow you away just in case you're working with something like this and you've not really seen this before is uh, a feature that has to do with filter and i think in this new version which is shader map 4.2 they have this new update that has to do with filter so now if you click on this button here you can actually add a pre or a post filter so let's just come back and look at this stuff uh, how we have have it before let me just uh play with the light and give me a second i think for some reason okay so i'm just adding an extra light here adding an extra light here okay cool so for this particular texture now i would like to add a filter so you can add a post a pre-processing filter something like this so if i come through and add um let's say a high pass or i come through and add a blur the effect i'm going to get is also going to be different from when i add a post so what happens with this one is it's going to calculate this with the image before it generates the map so if you come through and you come over to something like this and you add like a high pass it's going to go over calculate this image and you see we've totally lost we've totally lost all of those details that we added before if i come through and delete this and decide to add the same high pass in a sort of post you know previously we added it in the pre if i come through and add it in the posts you see we're still going to go ahead and retain the details that we have so it depends on what you want to do depends on what flows floats your boat you can go ahead and try that but something i'm very very happy about is the color correction that you can now do okay so let's uh, select this uh, image here and then let's choose to add color correction to it so now it's cutting out the time where you have to take your textures and go back to substance or go back to photoshop gimp or whatever app you choose to make use of and you know start doing all of those color correction uh stuff so you can simply do your color correction here you can let's try a, a bit of color balance and let's increase the red just a little bit let's just go ahead and increase the red just a little bit and then you can see we have a lot of red now in our scene it's not completely uh, real time but then it gets the job done that's just one thing i wish they can work on a little bit more and for the green as well we can come through and you know push the green up but if we want to take out the red we can just push it backwards a little bit and then we're going to have a much more blue color instead of having the red okay i mean these are things that this app has that i love uh, i love a lot and for the fact that this also uh, comes with a c plus plus sdk which simply means that you can go ahead and start building stuff directly from the ground up is also something i like about this so let's also look at this button that we have here so what this button does is it changes the background color of whatever you're working on so let's say you don't like to look at your scene in this uh, manner you can come through and you know can change the color of the background and you know play with it and see what it, it has and just uh, another reminder is all of these boxes that are here are uh, uh, places where you can save material preset so we've been using the standard material you can see what it looks like there and if we choose to click on this button now 
and decide to go PBR. So now you see we have the RMAO, which I mean RMAD, which is the um, thickness, metalness, and ambient occlusion and diffuse and you see we have this other one that only has to do with the roughness metalness and ambient occlusion so it doesn't include the diffuse you can come through and choose which of them that you you please okay so you can either have a standard material displaced material parallax and so on and so forth so if we just simply come through and just choose maybe something like this for example it's going to ask us to you know input all of the data for what we want to create so for something like this you're going to simply click on this button and i'm just putting this there as the uh, albedo map and i'm also selecting this to put that there for this map i might just simply select this and say okay and once i'm done i'll simply click from here click drag drop right on top of this and then you can see we can pre-visualize this in pbr mode okay so this is a pro material and we're not using pro right now so you can actually go ahead and pay for this and get to work with it and one more thing before we go is just in case for some reason you want to add extra light you know you can just come through and you can click on the lights that you have here and you know change what's it called let's go ahead and show the environment light we can switch them okay so we can switch them to preview what we have and also you can come through blow and turn it up turn it down turn it up turn it down so this has to do with the light and i think these lights are supported by the hdr heaven you can go there and download free textures or free hdr maps which you can use and this is also something that's very similar with the quicksell video and also the Marmoset video which we made uh, some time ago you can go over to the channel and check that out as as well so i like the fact that you know you have all of these possibilities these are things that doesn't exist in apps that are similar to this app and this is one of the main reasons why i would want to know what you guys think about this is this something you want to use do you use crazy bomb do you use uh the b2m from substance do you use the x normal i would like to know what you guys think about this i would really really advise that you go ahead and you know go over to the website download it i'll put all the links that are related to this stuff in the description you can also check out other videos that has to do with materials on the channel and also if you want to play with something like this i think this might be the best time for you to get your hands uh, dirty with this you know have it play with it see what works for you purchase it if you like it and leave a comment down in the comment section below if you like this video simply give it a like and also if you're not subscribed to this channel i think you should subscribe and you should also turn on the notification you should always check out for more uh, news updates more reviews more tutorials about things like this if you have requests you can also put those requests down there in the comment section and i will do justice to them if i can and until I see you guys next time with a review, a news, a tutorial, a rant, or something like this, peace.